Today's episode is brought to you by Raycon. Raycon are get good music into them ears. Also, today we're brought to you by ButcherBox. ButcherBox is going to deliver amazing meats directly to your front doorstep. You can't do better than that. Now let's jump into this podcast. Hello, everybody. It's time for Ghost and Friend Dog. Ghost and Friend Dog in the morning. In the morning. <laughs> Live, 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 live. Before our recording studio audience. Recording. Wake your ass up, it's the next trending in the morning. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome to the second episode of Cax and Crendar in the morning. Oh, boy. It's January. It is a January. <laughs> the middle of it. It's cold, it's wet, it's... I'm, I'm in L.A. I'm yeah. in L.A. and it's cold and wet <laughs> and gross and I hate it. Yeah, this last week has been like... We had like five straight days of zero degrees. One of the one of the days, the high was negative one. Uh, you know what? I'm doing all right then. I take it back. <laughs> I'm fine. You know, it's like... Okay. Yeah. The, the high I think we had was uh, 54 and I was like, it's terrible outside. Oh Just the worst. That's spring. <laughs> but it was raining and it was gross. Yes, I love fifties and rain. Well, I I don't apparently. <laughs> you don't. That's like my favorite weather. Oh man. Um. Yeah, it was cold. <laughs> it's like it's one of those things where everybody's always like, oh, the wind chills. What gets you? It's true. Because there was one day I went out. It was like seven degrees, but there was no wind, and I was like, you know what? It's not too bad. It's just really dry. And then the next day I went out, it was like two degrees and it was like th 20 mile an hour winds. And I was like, <laughs> it's like one minute in that. And I'm like, I'm done. Get me in. Get me inside. The last big time I recall being freezing cold was that time you and I were in Boston for PAX. And I oh, was yeah. dying. I was unprepared for that weather. <laughs> um, but I can't, I don't think I have any other, I think I've dodged most cold weather. Like if I ever come out to see you, maybe one year we did a show in December yeah, but I think I spent most of the time either in your home or in my hotel room or <laughs> on stage, and those yeah. are all hot places. So I was fine. And I don't even think it was that cold. It was probably like 30s or something. Yeah, it wasn't that bad. I have been actively avoiding and dodging freezing cold weather for some time, and I'm doing a great job of it. It is working out pretty well for me. <laughs> I don't mind cold, but I don't like bitter cold. There's like, there's like cold, right? You're like 20s, 30s. You're like, ah, it's pretty cold out. But then once it's like zero, you're just like, you go outside and you're just like. <laughs> I don't, it, even, it I don't think I have the capacity anymore to do it. You know how your body adjusts? Mine is adjusts to the point where the last few days it's been wet and rainy here in LA. And I have been in full hibernation mode. <laughs> I Today is a great example. Today, I woke up at 8 a.m. Looked at my clock, looked outside, it was still dark and wet and awful, and I was like, back to bed I go. Woke up at 1.30 p.m. and was like, what time, what day, where am I? <laughs> and then tried to go about my day, took a shower, got out, and was like, okay, well, I can still get some stuff done. Went into my living room, sat down on the couch, did not move or do anything for two hours. I tucked my hands in under my body on the couch and form like a little man cocoon and just put a blanket on me and listen to a podcast and did nothing. I didn't actively do anything until about 35 minutes before you and I got on to do this show. I, I was like, what if I just sat here and did it, I just did nothing? Wouldn't that be great? And then, of course, part of my body is just like, dude, you got to do something. You're wasting the day. And then no matter what that part of me said, the other part was like, Oh, we could just sit here and relax. I don't even want to do nothing today. I'm just going to sit here. I'm going to sit here, close my eyes, sit on the couch, leave the lights off for some reason. I should have just stayed in bed. But nope, I'm now sleeping on the couch. It was crazy. I'm telling you, I get hit. But I don't know if it's like a seasonal thing, but it's certainly a weather-related thing. Right. Every single time I'm like, what if I did nothing and just stayed here? That's great. You woke up later than I did today. That's what I'm saying, man. That's how I know it was messed up. If yeah. I wake up later than you, that's how I know there's a problem. I was yeah. like, but I, I don't want to. Uh, it also could be because I didn't go to. I went to bed like two last night. Um, uh, yeah. Because we were up late doing uh, Pal World. Yeah. 
And so, you know, it could just because I was still tired. I don't know. But yeah, probably. I was just like, what if I just stayed in bed all day? If I didn't have to do this, I'm going to let you know, I'd still be under those covers on my couch. I've been watching like a marathon of old episodes of Diners, Drivers, and Dives. I'd be like, that looks good. I kind of want that. Oh, guy, you silly character. Yeah. Yeah, there's like, actually, did you sleep like 11 hours or something? Oh, uh, I did sleep a long time. It's true. That's a lot. Um, yeah. If I oversleep, if I sleep more than like nine hours, I'm either sick or I get migraines from that. Like I can't go. I do that. have a headache right now. That is a fact. <laughs> I do have a headache. I just took two uh, Tylenol before we started because, yeah, if I sleep for a, a little too long, I get a headache too. Yeah. No, that's not good. It's, uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, the diner's drive. There's always some shows or you put those on and that's just like lazy day shows. And that's one of them. Diners, drive-ins, and dives are just yeah. constantly going around like, let's eat it. Jimmy's chicken wings. And then Jimmy's like, I got the best chicken wings. And he's like, all right, show me, Jimmy. And he's like, first we take the flour. We sprinkle it around. He's just like, oh, Jimmy's sprinkling that flour. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you got... make it sexual? What was... I Jimmy's think sprinkling that flour. Sometimes, sometimes he does make it sexual. <laughs> I don't know if that's true. <laughs> <laughs> I think it is. <laughs> oh, spring of that flower, Jimmy. Oh, get in all the crevices, Jimmy. I don't think that happens. <laughs> he's just like, you like that guy? <laughs> Flowering up them wings. And he's you just like, like yeah. that guy. <laughs> Put that sauce on. <laughs> yeah. I'm positive that's not how any episode goes. <laughs> no, I've seen at least one. Definitely at least Oh, one. yeah. Get in there, guy. <laughs> But then it's got the mu it's because there's the music in the back keeping it like it's like ba -doop, ba -doop, ba -doop, ba -doop, ba -doop, ba -doop. like if they get rid of the music if they change the music to like wham 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 right it would hit different you're right the music in the background is borderline ska yeah <laughs> it is so fast paced it's like and there's a cut every I'm gonna say point five seconds yeah and. It is a manic show. <laughs> or, then, or he goes to like uh, Bobby's Burgers and he's just like, yeah, I've been eating the Bobby's for about 45 years. Bobby knows me personally. He knows what I, I like to order. I walk in the door. He says, hey, one single with an extra side of fry sauce coming up. And I go, hey, he knows he got my fry sauce. Actually, while you say that, the best one that they ever did is when Guy goes to some college burger place and there's like a sassy old lady who's working the, the burger <laughs> station and every time someone orders a burger you have to order it exactly the way she makes it or else she's gonna yell at you <laughs> and you have to say it a certain way and she's like no that's not how you order a burger sweetie it's great she yells at guy it's so good i love that episode <laughs> where is it at or what's it called you don't remember uh, it's like a i think it's a michigan school like a michigan burger place uh, i do not yeah. know the name of it i don't know but he goes there and it's like yeah i want like three juicy lucy's <laughs> and a sasquatch like it is <laughs> so funny those are the kind of things i live for and i'll sit there and watch that and be like this is pure americana this man has tapped into what makes this country so fun is that insane stuff it's uh it's definitely one of the shows of all time it is one of the shows of all time. <laughs> I can't say it's good. It's not good TV, yeah. but it's... It's good it, trash honestly, TV. Honestly, yeah, it's, it, it truly is on television content. Like yeah. It is a YouTube video wrapped in an actual TV package. <laughs> yeah. But he was doing it each, before the YouTube shows. That's what I'm saying. Like, he invented what all these people you see on TikTok or whatever. It's like, yeah, uh, today I went to Jimmy's Chicken Shack, and I'm going to rate it five out of five. It's all those videos. <laughs> it's the exact same thing. Guy was doing it first. Yeah. It's, by the way, I saw you tweet, speaking of TikTok, I saw you tweet about a TikTok thing about, uh, what was it? It was like some security thing. Oh, yeah. Uh, so, speaking of TikTok, TikTok sucks. Sucks. <laughs> sucks. And I'm aware that I'm on TikTok, but uh, that's because I literally have a person who might be the best editor for TikTok in the world. 
create videos and put them there, but I spend no time there because I not only just feel old, but I also realize, and we've talked about this before, 90% of the content is bullshit. Like right. it is content mills producing fake outrage videos or fake whatever, or it's like some dudes pretending they have a podcast to sell you their stupid course or whatever. It's trash. Right. The whole thing's trash. But um, there was a there was a TikTok where it's this girl doing like a, when my husband leaves town, I got to be safe. And it's her securing her entire house in the craziest way possible. Like yeah. putting like insane locks, putting cameras in places where no need for cameras, uh, locking the window. Like if someone wants to kill you, hey, spoilers to the world. If someone wants to kill you bad enough, they'll just do it. <laughs> She's like, I got thumbprint scanners. I got like face ID in my door. I've got, I got like, a weird light and like a danger flute, like just crazy, <laughs> literal crazy stuff. None of that would protect you. If someone wanted to get you bad enough, they just break the window and get in. Like you, it's, <laughs> she covers the windows with like this weird blind, like that's going to stop them. That's going to get them. Then she's like, yeah, she got her like safety whistle. It's like, who's around? It's so know. goofy. And, and more importantly, the best part of that is all the comments are just like, who are you hiding from? <laughs> one, of the, one of the best ones is this guy was like, are you running from John Wick? What are you doing? <laughs> yeah, like what? <laughs> like anger the like Russian mafia or some shit? Like what's going on? And so the best part about it, 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 besides the fact that it's an insane video, the best part about it is it's clearly rage bait as well because mm -hmm. it's asking people to watch her prepare for nothing and – People are getting outraged. It's doing all this stuff for no reason, and it seems insane. So people are getting angry, and they're responding to it, and it's giving it the views that they wanted to begin with. You know, what we're just talking about right now, we're giving them attention. Right. But the sick thing is, is beneath that, every single product they show in the video has a link to where you can buy it. Oh, yeah. They always And it's do. on their <laughs> store. So they made an ad, not saying it's an ad, Featuring products they want to sell you for home protection, and they make it seem like you're going to need all of them because there's crazies out there. It is the biggest scam. So I was like, this is a video that's designed to be insane and make you angry about how insane it is, but also advertise every product to you. And that's yes. TikTok, and that makes me so mad. Wow. That is what TikTok is. That's what your TikTok is, not my TikTok. My TikTok sure. is powerful. Uh, sure. See, my algorithm, every time I get a one of those shop links at the bottom, swipe right away. I don't even watch it. I'm just like, not. I'm not buying anything. It's a, it's an ad. And then I skip all the ads. I skip everything. And I just get, like, the best TikToks. Uh, like, I get cats. I get weird scenarios of just, like, some guy really high. Like, the other day I got one. <laughs> this kid's just really high. He's, like, probably, like, 19 or something. He's just like, bro, here we go. And he's putting, like, cooked spaghetti into, like, a spaghetti container. He's like, just wait. Just wait. <laughs> and then <laughs> it's just some other kid's like, yo, I'm going to open it up. We got to be quiet. And he opens the thing, and it's like, <laughs> and I was just like, the shit. <laughs> That's my TikTok. I get, like, the dumb, like, high kid shit. <laughs> I mean, this is this is also what you do on Twitter and all that stuff. You go on there and you're just like, I can't believe this person did this thing. I'm mad about this thing. It's just, it's now catering it to you. I think that's just what your internet thing is. You're just... I don't want that to be my... I don't want to be... I don't want to be, dude. I don't want to be. <laughs> I don't want to be. I don't want to be. like the black eyed peas. <laughs> So, I just want to boom, boom, boom. <laughs> you know, like I don't want to do this. Anymore. There's some days where I wake up and I'm like, man, I should have been a billionaire. <laughs> you know, man, I should I shouldn't have to do all this. Yeah. Um, let's see, what did I? Oh, I have a couple stories I've written down. Talk to me. All right. So first things first, we'll start with food. We're talking about dr diners, drive-ins, dives. Uh, I was at Trader Joe's and I got these ghost pepper chips. All right. Wait, time out. Real quick. Real quick about Trader Joe's. Yep. On Instagram. Uh again, I don't know why. I need to I need you know what? This sucks. <laughs> I deleted all this shit off my phone. I still go to it on my web browser. <laughs> I suck. I'm terrible at, at trying to detox. But so yep. I was on Instagram 
and you know, because Instagram is now reels are the thing, like photos, whatever. You got to make it's reels, bro. Just like TikTok on Instagram. Yeah, which is yeah. so dumb. So we're trying to move our TikTok content over to Instagram so we can get some views and stuff there, and it's done really well for some things. But one of the things that we that I do while I'm there is you know. Go look at my content, see what the algorithm says, like all that stuff. You know, business, mm. business. But while I'm there, sometimes friends' videos will pop up. And sometimes they like, I don't know what the version is. It's not retweeting, but re-Instagramming, <laughs> re-reeling, who knows what it's called. <laughs> and so uh, this one time, this girl posted someone's... Uh, I guess Trader Joe's Instagram. Her whole persona is I'm the Trader Joe's deal girl. Oh, like that's her thing. Like she's like, I'm the Trader Joe's deal girl. I'll tell you how to get good deals at Trader Joe's. Or she'll tell you like what's in stock and like what you got to pick up. Oh, and it I seems see. very brand, <laughs> you know, like yeah. you got to get this new Bagolgi stuff at Trader Joe's and it's going to sell out fast. It seems like is Trader Joe's just paying you to say that. But that's whatever the case may be, I realized upon watching this, and I went down the rabbit hole. She lives in my neighborhood because the Trader Joe's that's on her thing is the Trader Joe's <laughs> that's across from the Ralph's grocery store that I go to. Oh, yeah. So you know, I've never been to that Trader Joe's except one time with my parents, and I immediately recognized it. I was like, who? <laughs> <laughs> so now I was like, wait a minute. So this girl just lives in my area? So I was like, all right, hold on. I got it. So I started scrolling through her shit, and she's apparently, according to her, a world traveler. She's all over the place and she's, you know, there's photos of her and it's like, this is me in uh, Thailand. And I'm telling you, dude, it was a photo of her on the pier right next to like uh, the restaurant down the street from me. <laughs> the, the one that has the monkey man playing. <laughs> so I, was like, I was like, stop. This woman's just lying to everybody. And it's like her on planes and going to go travel the world. And then she's like headed off to Japan. And then cut to she's at something down in the middle of LA that like looks pseudo Japanese. And she's like, here I am in Japan. I'm like, stop, girl. <laughs> yeah, that's I hate when they're like, ah, oh, look at me. I'm traveling all over. It's clearly, I, even when they are traveling all over, I'm just like, how are you doing? Like, they're already rich and they're just doing this for fun. Yeah, we talked about it last time. That's oh, yeah, just because right. a lot of people are just rich to begin with. You know yeah. what I mean? And so it's all bullshit. But like, this wasn't even rich. This was just faking it till you make it, <laughs> which is fine. But it was so funny. It's like when I noticed in Always Sunny in Philadelphia when they went to Ireland, but them being in like down, to, like, I don't know where they were in Ireland, maybe Dublin, doesn't matter. But it was just them in Culver City. It was so obviously Culver City that I was like, it's all ruined. My entire immersion. <laughs> <laughs> Um, anyway, sorry to interrupt. Anyway, ghost pepper chips. All right. I'm going to, this is, I'm like the opposite of this girl. These, these chips suck. Uh, <laughs> so I, I saw the ghost pepper chips. I'm like, oh man, you know what? They're like half gone. I was like, I'm going to, I'm going to try these. I, I kind of want a spicy, spicy chip. All right. I haven't had some Trader Joe chips in a long time. And I was like, let's try it. Tried it. I was like, oh man, we're going to see how spicy this is. It's like nothing. I was so disappointed. It literally, it, it it was about as spicy as like a Wendy's spicy chicken sandwich. Maybe less. I'd, I'd rather have a Wendy's spicy chicken sandwich yeah. than just chips, to be honest. Yeah, me too. And so, like, they're not bad. Like, they taste okay. But I, I, I was marketed ghost pepper spicy chips. It's not there. Uh, so don't get those unless you <laughs> like the taste of them. But even that, it's, it's a lie. Those I'm so glad you're here to bounce us out because that woman on Instagram <laughs> would have been like, there's only six bags left. You got to get them right now. Also, I'm traveling to Maui. <laughs> yeah, she definitely would. But no, yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm setting the record straight. Those trips suck. Uh, all right, next up. There I, <laughs> I had to go return an Amazon thing. Wait, so by the way, like, can I just say for the record, I love the fact that your entire story was went to Trader Joe's, got some <laughs> chips. They sucked. All right. So anyway, <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I expected them to be good and they weren't. I was lied to and that's it. Like there's nothing that's more it. to it. Yeah, man. Um, they got other good stuff, but that's not one of them. It's a lie. So <laughs> then we had, I went to Kohl's because Kohl's has a thing where you can return your Amazon packages there, right? That's true. Yep. So I was like, all right, I'll just take it to Kohl's. So I went to Kohl's, returned the Amazon thing. Uh, 
And I swear to God, the guy working there was like, he had to be like a former like preacher or like just one of those like super hype people because <laughs> the lady in front of me was returning her thing. And he's like, man, I bet you're sure glad to be getting rid of this item and getting your money back. And she was like, yeah. <laughs> and he was like, have a great day, ma'am. And then <laughs> I was like, all right. <laughs> so I go up and he's like, what's up, brother? You're radiating excellence today. <laughs> I love this dude. Unabashedly <laughs> love him. And then he gave me a fist bump. I was like, all right. And I was like, hey, you know what? You too. And he was like, right on, right on. And he's like, hey, you have a great day. And I was like, you too. And then I was like, man, that guy is really happy. <laughs> but I would have like, loved it if you would have turned around. If he was like, have a great day, brother. And you turned around and he just wasn't there. <laughs> Was was he real? Was he an angel? Who was that man? Who it's knows? One those, it's one of those things. You go up to the other employee there, you're just like, man, that guy is really radiating ex excellence. And they're just like, who? Like, Sir, we, we shut down Amazon Returns two weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> what? After, after the terrible accident that claimed the life of our very <laughs> friendly customer service rep. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I could have sworn. I was just no. talking to him. I was just talking to him. They say he appears every Sunday from 3 to 6. <laughs> but yeah, he, he's dead. <laughs> and then it's just like dead, but still alive in the twilight zone. So. Yeah, yeah. Some guy has to walk in and be like, this is a normal day. In the twilight zone. And you're just like, what's <laughs> happening? What is going on right now? I'm just returning my Amazon package of Kohl's. <laughs> Does he do I get Kohl's cash? Uh, what, Who oh are God. you people? What are these cameras? <laughs> Which, by the way, okay, then at Kohl's, I bought, uh, they had a, a, those towels you hang on the oven, Okay. It was. It had, a cat, it had cats <laughs> yeah, on. Yeah, those so towels said, that you hang on the yeah. <laughs> the like oven towel. You dry your hands on them, right? Right, right, right. The old oven towel. Yeah. yeah. So they had cats on them, and I sent a picture to Toaster Woman. She was like, "Oh my god, I love those." So I was like, "All right, I'll get the cat towels." So I got the cat towel. They're literally like eleven dollars. And then the lady's like, "Do you want to open a Kohl's card?" And I was like, "No." She's like, "You'll save thirty percent." And I was like, "That's like, <laughs> I'm gonna open a new line of credit." To save like 50 cents or something, 30 cents. I'm like, uh, no, why did I do that? That's so dumb. And she's like, it's 30%. And I was like, no, like she was like going crazy for me to open she a She tried to card. like girl math you. She, she, <laughs> she tried to hit you with the same logic my mom has when she's like, I saved 30%, Jesse. I had to buy it. Like what? <laughs> It's like, like maybe if I'm buying like something for a thousand dollars in there, like, all right, yeah, I'll open a card, but not for this. It's a towel. You know what? It's probably the same thing as when you go to a GameStop and they're like, do you want to become a GameStop member? Like they have oh, yeah. to, you know what I mean? Yeah. No, it's it's definitely the same thing. But normally they'll ask you and then be like, whatever. But she like asked three times. And I was like, no, I'm not doing it. <laughs> I just the, don't want to. The third time I was just like, I just like having one credit card. I don't want more than that. She was like, all right. And that was it. <laughs> uh, so anyway, that happened. Then, mm -hmm. so at the gym, do you remember, this is podcast lore, you remember, it was like half a year ago, I was walking at the gym and that woman was like, can you please not talk on your phone? I do remember. Was she back? So I did see her, but this is different. So I was, I was doing my chest press and there's this girl, she's always at the gym in front of me and she's talking to this one guy and I, she was just like, dude, have you ever... Like, I got to tell you this story. There's this woman and I was talking on the phone on my tread or on the treadmill. And she was like, um, excuse me. And I looked over and I was like, I don't know who this woman is. And she's like, okay, you realize you can't talk on the phone here. And I was, she was like, I was so taken aback. And I was like, oh, sorry. And then she's like, afterwards, I was just like, wait, what's that? Yes, I can. And then I talked to my dad. He's been coming here 20 years. And he was like, yeah, what the shit? And I was just like. <laughs> this woman almost got her. It, uh, she made her rethink yeah. reality. <laughs> and then just instantly, I was like, I know that woman. I know who she's talking about. I know that phone lady. And so, uh. I didn't say anything because I didn't want to be like, I was eavesdropping on your conversation. <laughs> but I was like, dude, this is like, I'm not the only one. 
This phone lady's getting too far. She may, she wants everybody to stop talking on the phone. But then she'll talk to people she's like next to on the, the, the whatever. So like, what's the difference? Hmm. Yeah, strong Karen energy. Like <laughs> yeah. uh, main character vibes. Like, well, if I do it, it's fine. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, but definitely. if you do it, it's rude because you're interrupting my experience. Exactly. That's what I got out of it. So I was like, yeah. And then hearing her say it to this girl, I was like, oh, yeah, it's it's definitely that. And so I, I'm happy because now I have somebody else that's experienced what I experienced. I'm not the only <laughs> one there. And so I was like, <laughs> and the guy was like, bro, that's fucked up. <laughs> and then she was like, yeah. She, then the, the girl literally was like, yeah, what a Karen, bitch. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, they're saying my feelings. I'm pretty, this may have not been her husband, but it may have been her husband. It looked like him. So I'm like 70% sure it was him. But one day when it was five degrees outside, I was like, I don't want to bring my coat and stuff into the gym and I got to get a locker and all this stuff. I'm just going to run into the gym from the parking lot in my like short sleeve shirt. So. Sure. Like a, a normal person, I was just like, ah, zero degrees, just run there. And then the the guy who I think he was like, hey, where's your coat? And I was like, I'm just running it in. And he was like, ha ha, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> I realized that if it is her husband, then he's also a person that's like, hey, I gotta ask this person about the th they're like the they're like those neighborhood patrol people, right? They're like constantly controlling the neighborhood and like things around them that sounds exactly like the vibe where they must control everyone else but if you confront them on their own thing they'll like lose their mind yeah or they just they want to know what's happening like they have to always know like all right i need to know what's happening is there there's something happening without my my knowledge like I need, I need to know so i can add my opinion and control like that type of thing right because their opinion is that important yes Exactly. Um, so yeah, that was a that was a fun story. Uh, and then <laughs> <laughs> my final yep. thing was we were eating breakfast, and there was this table next to us of this family talking very loudly, <laughs> and there this girl was just like, I swear to God, you could hear it from like across the thing. She was just like, Yeah, it's my golf podcast. So many people just want to get onto it but just like i don't know and she was like literally just talking about her golf podcast and i was like what the shit <laughs> and then i i heard the i think her dad or somebody used to he's like yeah the podcast that's everything right now podcasts uh you know and then she was like yeah i have so many people to get on the podcast but there's just like i don't have the mental energy i just want to again Stress to everyone out there. By the way, I've heard this in LA too, where someone just loudly talking about their podcast. But I want to stress to everyone, Crendor and I have been doing this over a decade. I don't think we've had one public conversation about a podcast ever. <laughs> we've never once been like, <laughs> yeah. yo, dude, on our podcast. We like it's never happened. <laughs> I don't I just <laughs> I <laughs> Have never once been like, yeah, dude, the podcast that we do is so good, right, everyone? Never, ha <laughs> it has never happened. Yeah, no, I, I actively avoid mentioning the podcast, and then <laughs> whenever there are people that uh, like learn about the podcast, they're like, "How's your podcast? You do podcast? I, I could probably start a podcast." I'm just like, "Yep, go for it. It's great." <laughs> <laughs> yep. Like, uh, yep. I. I <laughs> I don't know. I think it's just, I think I used to be when I was younger, more boastful and annoying. But now I'm just like, yeah, I just do stuff. <laughs> like, I don't know. I, I don't feel the need anymore. I was, I was hoping there'd be a moral in there somewhere. <laughs> there's but... really, there's really no moral. I guess just it takes a lot of energy and I don't got a lot of energy. <laughs> and talking about <laughs> stuff takes even more energy, you know? I, you know what? I do know. <laughs> I, I'm aware. I'm aware of that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, outside of that, this is a normal breakfast. Saw the guys that talk about crispy bacon again. That was good. Um, they really did love their crispy bacon. And uh, I, mm, I, mm, we talked about this before. Crispy bacon. 
like, if you're eating it by itself, it's too it's too crispy. Yeah, it's too crispy. I don't want like crispy bacon. Like I I like a nice balanced bacon. You don't want it to be too floppy and too like fatty still. You don't want yeah. it to be like a, a hard tack. There's, yeah. there's a sweet middle, and uh, yeah, I mean, I guess it's the same thing. People like well done steak. Like, all right, you're allowed to like it. I don't get it, but you're allowed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I don't get it either. And then on top of that, it's like, uh, if, if it's too chewy, it's just like, Ugh. but then if it's too burned, then it's like you're just eating the dried, burned piece of meat. Like, I don't know. So yeah, he, but that man, he loves his crispy bacon. I just remember he was like dead set. He's like, I want that crispy bacon. Crispy bacon. Um. <laughs> and he, he's like 90 years old man's been eating crispy bacon his whole life uh, maybe that's the key it might be it eats over here eating the fatty bacon and he's like burn it off <laughs> i just want pure crisp maybe he's got it figured out <laughs> he's gotta have it figured out and that's pretty much everything i wrote down that i've been doing <laughs> just uh Good. wow i've also been uh, building my warhammer old world stuff you were talking about this yeah you got the you got new stuff in the mail yeah, I got the Tomb Kings. I actually got it a while back. I got it early from the Games Workshop. Thank you, Games Workshop. And uh, I've just been building that. It's great. I'm excited to play. It's like 250 pages of rules. I've been reading them. It's a lot of rules, but... It's too many uh, rules for me. Yeah, you gotta. You also got to be like in the tabletop gaming scene to already kind of understand a lot of them too and then it's just rules on top of those rules it's a lot of rules but i want to let you know how i know i like i know i would hate playing playing but i know now more so because i watched a video of two guys playing because every once in a while i'll be like in a little warhammer thing Mm -hmm. and i watched the video of two guys playing and they were showing off one of the new uh like human uh, the Imperium of Man, like our normal army guys. I don't know what they're called, but like you know, normal army dudes. Okay. And they're they're showing off a, a, a unit and what he can do. And so this guy was like, "Yeah, I use my Tau Eviscerator Cannon or some nonsense." And he's like, "If I uh, roll a five or six, I instantly kill all these guys." I'm like, "Okay." So this guy rolls like eighty die. Yep. <laughs> and then he sifts through them all, and he's like, "Okay, so I uh, kill all of these guys." And the dude was like, uh, "Hold on, my general or whoever, this guy actually because he's waving his flag of war, all <laughs> fire, all shots are directed at him, but because he has a something something buff." Every time it's a five or six, it deflects the damage. And so basically this guy takes every single shot. And I was like, come on, that's stupid. That man took every shot from this giant mech. Get out of town. I was like, I would hate this. This would drive me crazy. Yeah, it's it's a lot. Well, the, the hardest part about playing tabletop Warhammer stuff is it's like you have to pick what you're playing. So there's like 40K Sigmar. Now there's Old World, which is just old Warhammer fantasy. And then you have every game is like similar but different. So, like, for example, in 40k, you can get within an inch of a unit in the movement phase, but in Sigmar, you can get within three inches. You can't go to an inch. But then you play Old World, and this is also an inch. But in Old World, the charge phase is at the start of the movement, while in the other two games, it's in the the end of the movement is when you charge. So it becomes a lot of, like, a lot of like minute... I'm already overwhelmed. I'm already completely yeah. o- like, like, wait, so it's a three, <laughs> but and then the other one's like a one, and then you got, and then you got about the movement. Yeah, no, no. Yeah. The minute people break out <laughs> rulers, I'm out. I'm out. Well, you gotta have a ruler. <laughs> no, you don't. You gotta have a ruler. <laughs> yeah, you do. You can't play the game without a ruler. <laughs> That's how you move. You move in inches, dude. You gotta have a ruler. <laughs> you do. Uh, I love it. <laughs> Which so you would fun. think. I would, but like, I don't know. I just, I love the the competitive tabletop strategy. It's just fun. And a lot of times I don't play it just to like, like be like, I'm a meta hardcore gamer. Like, I just like doing dumb shit a lot of the times or like playing uh, weird meme things. Like, it's all, like when I play orcs in 40K, I run the Stompa and it's like a third of my army. And it's literally just a, a big ass trash robot that has like 20 guns and a billion shots and that's like a third of my army it's great i mean that's fun 
that's uh, I I enjoy that. I just know that you need to know the basic rules in order to make that fun. If that makes any sense, and I yes. don't have the patience for that. <laughs> I can't even get to that phase. Yeah, it's kind of it's also kind of like League of Legends or Dota or any of those where it's like you have to play enough to where you know the other armies. So it's like, oh, I'm playing against this army. I've played against them before, so I know what they do. But if you don't know what they do, then you're in for like a surprise and be like, oh, I didn't know you could do that. I didn't know they could do this. So it's like that type of thing, too. So you just have to know a lot, which is why it's such a steep learning curve. Yeah, no, I'm good. I don't. <laughs> Same thing yeah. with, with a great example is uh, recently, I, oh, coming up soon is the new Tekken game, but recently we got the new Mortal Kombat and Street Fighter that, that came out. And I love those types of games. To the extent that same thing with with Total War or not Total War Warhammer, <laughs> but even though Total War is war, as Warhammer games, but right. Warhammer, I like what it is. I like the lore. I like the concepts. I think it's really fun. But I'm not gonna learn the base mechanics. Same thing with Mortal Kombat and stuff. Like I know how to play fighting games and I've memorized a few finishers and things. But I'm not gonna learn, you know, footsies and I'm not going to learn <laughs> iframes and I'm not going to learn like counters. I'm just not going to do it. And I never will do it because I just don't have the brain capacity. I got useless Star Wars facts up there. I don't got time to learn like what M. Bison's best uh, <laughs> Punisher is. Like I just don't care. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you don't even like Blood Bowl. <laughs> no. No. I don't. <laughs> Blood Bowl already had too many rules. Blood Bowl was like, well, you have a 55% chance. I was like, that's good enough. And everyone's like, no, it's not. I'm like, eh. That's why if you're a doctor, just tell me the odds. <laughs> like, if you're like, Jesse, we're going we're gonna to take you for surgery. You've got a 50% chance. I'll be like, damn, that's half a chance. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> that's half a chance. <laughs> yeah. Don't, you don't tell me the math. I'll, I'll dumb it. I'll be like, yeah, that's a 15%. That's better than no percent. Let's go. <laughs> tell me the math. I'll dumb it. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yep. Um, yeah, so uh, that's really all I got. Okay. <laughs> well, you know what else you could get? What? Some Raycons. Because, look, it's 2024. And I'm sure you probably either made a resolution or, I don't know, maybe you're like me and you're still trying to figure out what you want to commit to. But the best way to get it all done, to cruise through your year, is with the soundtrack in your head. And there's no better way to listen to your favorite podcast, like this one, or your favorite song. Crender, what's your favorite song? Go. Uh, any Armin Van Buren podcast songs. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's so very specific, but not accurate. Like, not you didn't say one thing; you just said well, I listened to a, a very lot specific of genre. All right, well, a wub wub. No matter what it is you're listening to, a solid pair of wireless headphones makes it indispensable for premium audio at the perfect price point, dude. You gotta get Raycons. Raycon Everyday Earbuds look, feel, and sound better than ever with optimized gel tips for the perfect in-ear fit. They're not going to budge anytime soon or drop out of your ears like some uh, in-ear <laughs> headphones will do. Plus, they've got 8 hours of playtime and 32 hours of battery life. I'm a big fan of, of the customizable sound profiles. So, for example, if you love just getting blasted by bass, they have a bass one for you. If you're a jazz lover, they have a balanced sound. They have an awareness mode that allows you to not only have your music on, but also not to the point where it drowns out the world around you. Honestly, it's how I like to go for walks. I like to have my, my headphones in, but I want to still be aware of, like, you know, the street noise or what's going on around me. I was going to use, I tried mine out at the gym and they were pretty great. If you want to try Raycon, please go to buyraycon.com slash Cox today to get 15% off your Raycon order plus free shipping. That's B-U-I-R-A-Y-C-O-N.com slash Cox, C-O-X to score 15% off and free shipping. Buyraycon.com. Also today, we're brought to you by ButcherBox. If you're looking for high quality meat and seafood, you can trust that's 100% grass-fed beef, uh, free-range chicken, crate-free pork, wild-caught seafood. You can't do much better than a butcher box. Delivered right to your doorstep, free shipping, and you're going to get exactly what you want. You can do curated boxes or customized ones, uh, get member deals, all sorts of cool stuff. Like, a great example is um, I just recently ordered a new butcher box, and I left them a note that was like, look... 
I don't have the ability to cook the bigger cuts of meat. Like, I can't do a giant rack of ribs or a huge pot roast. I can't do that. So if you're going to send me some stuff, I don't know, send me some smaller things to mess around with. And they were like, you want a bunch of chicken wings? I was like, yeah. <laughs> and they were like, we got you. So they sent me a ton of ch- – I got chicken wings out the wazoo. So I'm going to make a like great amount of chicken wings for the Super Bowl. Very excited. Uh, I'm all set. I got a lot of chicken wings, dude. Uh, plus some steaks and hamburger meat and um, – some smaller cuts of uh, pork. I'm, it, it's great. Living my life. Literally the other day, uh, our dear friend Davis was over. He's doing like a keto thing now, I guess. And he was asking about Butcher Box. And I was like, man, let me show you my freezer. And I just showed him all those meats. So if you want to start eating good, check out Butcher Box today. New members get two pounds of ground beef, three pounds of chicken breast, or Two pounds of salmon for free in every order for a full year. Plus, you get $20 off your first order. Sign up today over at butcherbox.com slash cox. Use code COX. Choose your free offer and get $20 off. That's butcherbox.com slash cox today. All right, Crandall, let's go to traffic. Let's see what's going on. traffic out there. Oh boy, traffic is pretty all right. There's a decent amount of traffic, but nothing too bad. If anything, the worst traffic's just coming in from the snow, uh, the cold weather, people staying inside for the most part, but some people are slipping and sliding, so I would suggest uh, busting out your snowproof hovercraft, if that's the case. And, uh, uh, you know, just... yeah, back to you. Thanks, Crendor. Oh, right. So the snowproof hovercraft. What the hell's yeah, yeah. that? <laughs> I don't know. That guy's crazy. Yeah, I don't think anything's really snowproof. But it okay. Might be. Yeah, I don't know if you got one. It just I don't know how it work. All right. Let's go. Speaking of snow, to weather. Ooh, weather. Weather time. Currently the weather is going to be the weather for Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, let's see, I got a whole bunch of weather requests. Let's go with this one. Weather request for Wandong, Victoria. Shout out to Wandong. I've never been there, but I drove past it recently. Thought you'd find the name mildly amusing. I want to know, you drove past it. Where were you headed? Wandong oh. is north of Melbourne. Oh, this is Australia? Yeah. Wandong is north of Melbourne. So my question for you is, where were you going? <laughs> so I've been, so I've been, um, I can't say I've been all over Australia. That's a lie. I've been to the southern part of Australia. I've been to three cities on three separate trips, Melbourne, Sydney, and Canberra. I've been to those three. If everyone asks why I went to Canberra and there's no, like no one's there, what the hell were you doing driving north of Melbourne to like, where are you going? Where are you driving to? There's nothing out there, dude. There's nothing out there. Uh, maybe they're driving to Melbourne. I I guess. Maybe I don't they know. live out in uh, Mitchell's town. They got to drive through yep. Wandong get to Melbourne. There you go. Look at that. You're always thinking of driving out of Melbourne. They probably drive into it. Maybe they live out in <laughs> Kangaroo Flat. <laughs> Or Porcupine Ridge. <laughs> this literally, I swear, these are like made-up names. These are like the most goofy made-up names. I mean, all names are made up if you think about it. <laughs> well, they are, but these are like, <laughs> these are a special type of made-up. There's a place here called Marumpa? Yeah, right no, next Marupna. to Tulamba. Mar- Mar- Marupna and Tulamba. <laughs> Tulamba. Uh, I love these names. I wish American names, like... like Tally Garupna. To- There's Tally Garupna. <laughs> Bunbartha, love that and name. Kumbuna, Kumbuna <laughs> rules. I love Kumbuna. Kumbuna also appears to be just one road. <laughs> oh yeah, it is. Uh, oh my god, Makata, the Merk Yundul, Major Plan. <laughs> There's Major Plains, Gurambat East, Bungie West. Dude, I could just read these names all day. Hold on, let me do the actual weather first. <laughs> Sorry, uh, yeah, all right. <laughs> 64 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, feels like 63 currently with the 16 mile an hour winds high. 66, low 50, 59% humidity, 29.95 inches of pressure. 
Visibility 10 miles, 6.22 a.m. sunrise, 8.39 p.m. sunset. Dew point 50, UV index extreme. With a waxing gibbous moon phase. Checking out the 10 day, we've got 83, mostly sunny tomorrow. 86 with a.m. showers. Uh, on Wednesday, we've got 20, or no, 81 with showers on Thursday, 71 partly cloudy on Friday, 69 nice partly cloudy Saturday and Sunday, 79 partly cloudy with Monday, 87 mostly sunny. So it's pretty warm except for a few days where it rains. Question to the Aussies out there real quick. Yeah. What's the deal with Tasmania? What's going on with that? Yeah, I don't know. Like what's it like New Zealand? Everyone talks about New Zealand mostly because Lord of the Rings, but like what's the deal with Tasmania? Ever since the devil stopped working there, <laughs> like what's the fuck? <laughs> what's going on? If you live in Southern Australia, you going to Tasmania? What do you do in Tasmania? <laughs> Tasmanians, what's the, what's going on there? <laughs> uh, yeah, is the is the Tasmanian devil like move there or, like? I don't know. I don't know what that vibe is. Like, I, I clearly see that you're driving through the middle of nowhere, Australia. So my question to you is, have you been across the the strait there down to Tasmania? And what's going on there? Yeah. Next episode, can we get a ta someone from Tasmania? Can we do a weather report on your town? What's going on with that? <laughs> we got a... Uh... Let's see. Sweet. Because I'm looking treats. through Wangdong, and I love Wangdong. It's great. <laughs> There's a place called the Magpie and Stump Hotel. Big fan of that. I found sweet treats by Chani, and Chani's got some good sweet treats. Let's be clear. I see that too, and I think that's all I see. I, yeah. I, I'm looking at this place. I see a primary school. I see sweet treats. <laughs> I see nothing else. Not a damn, not a damn restaurant to be seen. Shani made a crocodile cake. That's pretty good. Wait, we got the Tab Magpie Hotel and Stump Hotel. That's what I'm saying. That's what I found. And it looks like a, a place that if you're local you or a biker, apparently, oh, you yeah. go there and you get like a chop. And I'm sure it's fine, but that's the only two places I can see. <laughs> Scroll down. I mean, About. I already scrolled down. I found what looks to be a chicken burger with some dope-ass looking chips, and I am here for Did it. Did you find the old miner man? Uh, I found a couple who got married, it looks like. I found... Oh, shit! <laughs> that is a... that. Whoa, you weren't even lying. <laughs> I know. That's what I'm saying. This guy looks like he came in from the mine. <laughs> he's still covered in mine dust, but he's also <laughs> drinking a wine, which makes it even funnier. That is funny. <laughs> That's me. He's drinking like a classy ass wine. If you keep scrolling down, there's literally a giant iron statue that looks like Iron Man, but with neon lights for legs. And I am here <laughs> for it. Oh, yeah. I see that. There's also, for some reason, a lot of gambling here. Like a lot of gambling. Oh, yeah. There is a lot of gambling. I don't know what that's about, to be honest, but I'm also <laughs> confused because there, I still, dude, there's nothing. Like, I went and looked for food nearby. Yeah. And nearby, there's a place called Dundee's. Yeah. Which is fish, chips, and burgers. Mm -hmm. But that is it. As I scroll out and keep scrolling, there's the Magpie Stump Hotel, Dundee's. There's. The fit for the all foodery gin. Wang Dong, which I guess is a gas station. <laughs> the next closest thing is a subway one town over, which is or a McDonald's, which is one town south. Yeah. What the? What were you doing? I guess. So what are you doing driving through? Were you going to a national park? Where are you headed? What are you doing? <laughs> this would be like if I said to Crendor, "Yes, the other day." I was driving through and then insert small town America. I would want to know, all right, where were you going? What were you doing? I you still, clearly weren't going there. I still think they live in like Nagambe. And they're just driving through to get to Melbourne. Then what do you, all right, tell me about Nagambe. But I feel like here's the thing. Someone driving through Wang Dong isn't going to be like, well, yo, yo, you guys should check out this little tiny town instead of their own tiny town. I love tiny towns. I'm just trying to figure out what you were doing there. Yeah. But because <laughs> Wayne Dong is like on the way to Melbourne. 
So like, yeah. it's, it's going to be one of the places you drive through if you're coming in from Where like, they... out there. Yeah, okay, but if you came in from out there, you also drove through places like uh, Blattum and Violet Town. There's literally a Violet Town. They drove through Batagini. They all drove right. through uh, all sorts. They drove through all sorts of places. Wangrata. <laughs> they drove through, <laughs> or Wood Woodonga. All I'm saying is, yeah, there's a place called Wagga Wagga. Depending on where <laughs> you came from, there are other places that you could have used. Why specifically here? Where are you coming from? I think they there's a place said, called Kulamon. You there's a place called Kudamundra. You could be going anywhere, and you chose this one. Why? I think they just drove because it's Wayne Dawn. It's got dong in the name. <laughs> that's true. That's funny. That's definitely that's pretty why they, good. they chose it. Yeah, that's pretty good. That that works. <laughs> it's like that one weathered Australia one. It was like Booby Town or something. Uh, do you think people who live in Booby Town are like, yeah, no, we get it. We we understand. Look, I'm just trying to make a living. They're probably it's, it's named after the bird. And you're just like, hey, hey boobies. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> Uh, There's a place called Yabba, and then next to it, Yabba North and Yabba <laughs> South. <laughs> oh I God, love Yabba. Yabba North and Yabba <laughs> South are great. <laughs> you don't trust those Yabba South people. It's all about Yabba North. <laughs> uh, <laughs> dude, I found Marangaroo and the Doctor's Gap. Oh God, I love all this. This is great. I'm. There's a certain point where I just don't know why you're traveling. Like, if you're on the coast of Australia, there's a lot to see and do. But the more you go inland, I don't know what the hell you're doing. That's, it's just desert. I could, I could literally just spend all day looking at these. But There's one that's, called Conja Boy. That's like a superhero. Yeah. Uh, but that's the weather. <laughs> all right. Let's go to sports. Sports. Currently at the sports desk, we've got sports. Uh, we had the NFL. Good, good. The, thank God. <laughs> we had the NFL divisional playoffs. The Lions defeated the Buccaneers to go to the NFC Championship game. The 49ers defeated the Packers, sadly, to go to the NFC Championship game. Uh, the Ravens defeated the Texans to go to the AFC Championship. And currently, the Chiefs are beating the Bills 27-24 with two minutes to go. So somebody's about to win that, and I hope it's the Bills because I always like the Bills because I like the Buffalo logo. Um, someone gotta, someone gotta give the Bills a chance. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. let them have this one. If they, <laughs> being a person who's spent many years in Buffalo, there's really that and wings, y'all. It's not much. And the Sabers. It's not much. Let them have it. It's uh it's there's not much. <laughs> yeah. Uh, speaking of the Buffalo Sabers, they are currently almost last place still. I don't know. <laughs> they've been bad for so long. You think they'd they'd flip it eventually? Uh, the Bruins are in first, the Rangers are in first, the Winnipeg Jets are in first, with the Avalanche right behind them, and the Vancouver Canucks are in first. Uh, baseball, there's the offseason still happening, but don't look now, we're only a couple of months away from spring training. Yo! Ew. Uh, and then the NBA, Boston Celtics in first place in the East, with the Bucks and 76ers right behind them, and the Timberwolves first place in the West with the Thunder and Nuggets right behind them and uh, sports all right what is our fact of the day fact of the day the pope cannot be an organ donor i mean i guess i understand i guess it, yeah. it, is it just specifically the pope or is it or is it like more of a uh, you know, if you're like a priest down the street, can you be an organ, organ donor too? Or is it like, uh, that's a no-no? I don't know. It just says the Pope. Do you think it's because people are concerned that if I, for example, get the Pope's kidney, that I'm a little bit more Jesus-y? It might be, yeah. Does it make <laughs> me automatically, like, like, could I go to the church and be like, <laughs> I am part of the old Pope, thus I should be the new Pope. Do you think that's what it's about? I think it probably would be. There'd be people fighting over the Pope's organs. Yeah, like, I have the Pope's heart, which makes me more of a Pope than you, Pope <laughs> liver guy. Yeah, you, Jesse Cox, 10% Pope. I'm 10% Pope, baby. <laughs> uh, another fact, 
There were more act or there were active volcanoes on the moon when dinosaurs were alive. Interesting. Although that was long enough ago that yeah, that probably checks out. Yeah. So look at that. Moon volcanoes and dinosaurs. Was that before after the aliens hollowed it out and made it into a moon base? Probably before. No wait. Okay. Mm, it's got I don't know. It's got to be close. Yeah, maybe the lava was the terraforming by the aliens. I'll have to go watch someone's TikTok on it. Yeah, that's probably the best, uh, best course I Yeah, yeah, that checks out. Uh, right, right, right. <laughs> that's your fact of the day. Okay, what is our big news story of the day? Big news story of the day. Day, day, day. Day, day. Um, so... <laughs> This is yeah. the story that we did not do last week. Perfect. Or the other way, whatever. Whatever it was. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Alabama man. Oh, no. Shocks shoppers with X-rated plunge into Bass Pro Shop Aquarium. I saw the video of this. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Uh, the man later left the water to yell at two officers, then drove back into the tank, police said. So, in Leeds, Alabama, a man crashed his car outside a Bass Pro Shop in Alabama, stripped down to his birthday suit, and plunged into the giant aquarium inside the store, police said. The ordeal happened Thursday night in front of shock shoppers in the town just outside Birmingham, Leeds Police Chief Paul Irwin said. The did it really shock them? Like, I gotta be honest. <laughs> at the Bass Pro Shop outside of Birmingham, did, did really a dude jumping in shock them? Mm. <laughs> I don't know about uh, that. Yeah, I don't know if it shocked them. <laughs> They're probably like, it's just Phil doing his stupid Phil thing again. Like, I don't know if that's shocking. I feel <laughs> like that's something they've seen quite often. Uh, the ordeal happened Thursday night in front of a shock shopper. Oh, yeah, I just said that. Uh, the 42-year-old Alabama man did a cannonball leap into the aquarium then stood under a waterfall. He left the water to yell at two officers then dove back into the aquarium, police said. <laughs> <laughs> I like that he took the time to get out and be like, don't tell me what I can't do, and then jump back in. <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, the man eventually climbed over the side of the aquarium and fell to the concrete floor below. Police then apprehended him, the news site reported. Uh, he faces several charges, including public lewd, public lewdness, disorderly conduct, and criminal mischief. The man was in the water for about five minutes before officers arrived. So, Let me just ask again. Do we know why he did it? No. That is always the question we never get the answer to. Not once. Ever. And I trust the entire time. I'm like, okay, yeah, no, we all know he jumped in. Why did he jump in? Yeah. Nothing. Not one part of that story was about that man jumping in. It was all about the aftermath. But no one cares about the aftermath. I want to know why he did it. Yeah. It's, and there's no, like, updates. They're not like, we figured it out, everybody. <laughs> Here's the tale. The, the, the big time news tale. Like, there's nothing. Hold on. Can I, why did Alabama man jump in aquarium? But why? Alabama.com. Help me out here. Why? <laughs> oh, all right. See, Alabama.com, January 8th. Leads man on drugs. There you go. That's all I needed. That's the only answer I needed. 40 year old man jumped in because he was on drugs. That's it. That explains everything. I don't need any more than that. <laughs> yeah, there we go. At least we got, got our answer. Drugs. But again, for them to say shocked people were shocked i don't believe that for a minute oh, yeah, <laughs> i think no. they know exactly what they were getting into they were like mm, no we we know we we understand <laughs> uh, so uh yeah i mean he just he took a bunch of drugs and he was like bass pro shop waterfall <laughs> i gotta go in there and then he did it yeah and then he did it <laughs> <laughs> Um, so there, there you go. That's your big news story of the day. All right. Well, that's it for us. Thanks so much for listening or watching. However, enjoy this podcast. Crendor, hit them with the socials. We've got socials. You got yourself a youtube.com slash Cox and Crendor podcast. All one word. 
Go check out all the podcasts. Also, they're playlisted by year. They're playlisted by all of them. You could listen to whatever. Also, go to youtube.com slash Cox and Crendor for all the animations. What? Ooh. Also, we got uh, all of SoundCloud, iTunes, Spotify. We're all over there. And you go check us out on our main things. YouTube.com Jesse Cox, YouTube.com Crendor, baby, bad blah. Uh, Twitch TV Jesse Cox, Twitch TV Crendor, uh, Facebook Jesse Cox, Facebook Crendor, Twitch, or I said Twitch, Twitter Jesse Cox, Twitter Crendor, <laughs> TikTok Twitch. Jesse Cox, TikToks, TikTok Crendor, Instagram Notorious Cox, Instagram Crendor was taken, and uh, yeah, Patreon Jesse Cox, Patreon Crendor, YouTube Warhammer Crendor, YouTube Cox Clips, YouTube Crend Clips. You, you okay? You... Nope. <laughs> That's it. All right. Well, that's it for us. Thanks so much. See you all next time. And as always, woo, the big continued.